Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. I remember when Coach Davey got fired, it was like, you know, I don't know the world. It was like the wild, wild west around here. I mean, it was like we had no leader. You know, we were in and out of class. We weren't going to workouts. It was, it was, it was anarchy. And I remember watching ESPN. I was sitting with Courtney Watson and, and, and Cedric Hilliard. And I remember why, we were all watching ESPN, and they were, had this long story and this, this sad music. And the, they had a picture of the Golden Dome, and it was like tarnished. And they were talking about, is the Golden Dome tarnished, and will it ever be the same again? And we all looked at each other like, no, 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 no. This is the words, laugh now, but America will cry later. Jerome Sapp and his teammates used that motivation to post a 3-0 record heading into a 2002 showdown in East Lansing against Michigan State. Atkins and Stovall to the left. Battle from flanker right to the left. Three wide receivers left. Long pass intended for Stovall. Got a touchdown! Maurice Stovall! The Notre Dame momentum was derailed in the third quarter, however, when starting quarterback Carlisle Holiday was knocked out of the game with a shoulder injury. Into the game came walk-on quarterback Pat Dillingham, seeing his first action of the season. While finding his way under center, Michigan State rallied behind all-star receiver Charles Rogers. Shotgun formation, looking left, Smoker looking, fires over the middle, it's incomplete, touchdown, Charles Rogers caught it. Notre Dame was not finished yet, as Dillingham and the Irish offense had enough time remaining to pull off their own dramatic scoring play. They coming on the blitz. Quick throw. Battle. 50. Battle. 45. Outside 40. 30. Down to the 25. 20. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown, Irish. <laughs> Arnez battle from Dillingham. <laughs> Michigan State loaded up for one final drive against the strength of the 2002 Irish team, the defense. I think that was the backbone of that 2002 team, you know, with Shane Walton out there, Jerome Sapp, Glenn Earl, um, a bunch of those guys out there, Justin Tuck coming off the end, uh, really set the tone for that team in 2002. It takes a strong unit that's together, that plays together, that understands one another, and more importantly, knows that, listen, at the end of the day, it's up to us to win this game or lose this game. And it may not even be that, but if that's your mentality as a secondary, good things will happen. Smoker rolling out to the right, sending everybody out deep, running for his life, throwing the ball, Hail Mary. Who's it going to get it? It is intercepted by the Irish. Intercepted by Notre Dame, down at the two-yard line. Notre Dame has come up with a ball. Jerome Sapp. Intercepted 20. Jerome Sapp, second interception. And jubilation on the... As the game ends, Sapp made the interception and time ran out. The final score, Notre Dame 21, Michigan State 17.